Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Okay, today we're talking about Global Star. I know this is a 30 cent stock, but listen, I've been following this company for about eight months now, and I really like this company. It's a 5G company, it's a satellite company, pretty much calls it a tech company. And I want to talk today a little bit about what they make product wise, where we see the stock, and what we can expect from this company. Okay, guys, let's go over what Global Star is. Now, I know you're thinking this is a 30 cent stock. Why are we looking and talking about a 30 cent stock? We're talking about Global Star because it's a great company. And I really think this could be a company that really turns into something in the future. Global Star Inc. is an American satellite communications company that operates as a low Earth orbit satellite constellation for satellite, phone, and low speed data communications. Somewhat similar to the Iridium satellite constellation and Orbicom satellite systems, the Global Star second generation constellation consists of 24 low earth orbiting satellites. Okay, so Global Star has 24 satellites hovering in orbit right now. They use these satellites to bring Wi-Fi in places that are very dense and very hard to get Wi-Fi to. A lot of companies that use this technology are construction companies, mining companies, emergency companies, when they're out in the middle of nowhere, where they're on top of a mountain or at the bottom of a mountain. They're bringing service to people when they're in need of it in the middle of nowhere in emergency situations. But they have satellites, they have 5G, and they're still bringing in good numbers, and they're still making new products. Now why is Global Star so cheap? So Global Star has been around for quite some time, but like Starlink, that's pretty much what Global Star was trying to do, except they ran out of money and pretty much went bankrupt in it. So to make their bread and butter, they started making GPS systems, they sent satellites up to space, they started making satellite phones, and they just kind of kept adapting and adapting. But they have 5G, they're one of the few companies to have 5G, they have their own satellites. So this is attractive to other companies. And as they continue to grow and get bigger, this is a company that we could really see maybe come up in the stock value. Let's look at Global Star right now with the stock. It's ending and starting around 31 cents to 30 cents a day, maybe hitting some 32 highs. This is a very short trade stock right now, daily trader, a market cap of 521.14 million, and then an average volume of 2.55 million. And the reason that volume is so high is because we're having day traders constantly trade this thing nonstop until we get some actual long-term investors in it that are eating up stocks. So obviously, it's a very affordable stock for everyone, but I realize it is a very cheap stock and it is risky and dangerous when it comes to reverse splits. Okay, so I want to go over some of Global Star's actual products. So let's hit some of their biggest products they sell. Here's the two-way satellite messenger with Bluetooth, Spot X. You've probably seen this in pictures if you looked up Global Star. It's one of their biggest products. Then we have the GSP 1700 pre-owned satellite phone. This is going to be one of their hottest products because it is the satellite phone. So Global Star just made this deal too with Jeep, not with their new edition of trackers. They've made a license deal with the brand. So here it is, the Sport Gen 4 Jeep Special Edition offers affordable personal tracking, one-touch check-in, and SOS emergency response technology. Users can view their live historical tracks and share their location or trip with others in the spot mapping interface. The Spot Gen 4 Jeep Edition is part of an award-winning product portfolio that provides a virtual line of communication with friends family and the GSOS International Emergency Response Coordination Center, GPS location and satellite connectivity powered by Global Star. The new Spot Gen 4 Jeep edition was designed for outdoor enthusiasts. It's the perfect personal safety device continuing their journeys off the road and off the grid, said David Kagan, CEO of Global Star. We're proud to introduce this new product to the Jeep community and its overwhelming freedom seekers to keep where the road ends and exploration awaits. So the reason I read that, I just want to show you what this company is doing, what that new product is. This is a really neat company. This is a very unique company. This is a company that's building itself back up with new products, taking old technology with new technology and putting them together and making it better. The Global Star in a nutshell, they have satellites. What they have satellites for is for their GPS system for their satellite phones and own vehicle tracking devices such as tractor trailers, your personal vehicles, and really just anything. So let's look at where Global Star has their satellites really set on right now for their products. So you can see right here, about 80% of the Earth's surface is covered with their satellite. All of Australia, all of North America, pretty much South America, Pretty much Europe, Africa, not really. And some parts of Europe going into Russia, obviously not China, and mostly Russia, obviously not, because of restrictions with those countries. Global Star collection of low 
Earth orbiting LEO satellites picks up signals from over 8% of the Earth's surface, everywhere outside the extreme polar regions and some mid-ocean regions. So here's a little bit of an article from one of the executive chairmen. Jay Monroe, executive chairman of Global Star, commented, Achieving 5G status with our brand is a significant achievement. In our spectrum efforts, new networks around the world will be built utilizing 5G's advanced technology and our resource will now work in those networks. We appreciate the industry's continued support of our spectrum and applaud the 3GPP working group for their approval. And if you've been around Global Star, I'm sure you've heard the rumors about Apple buying into Global Star. There's no real article, there's no real news of that. It's just been rumored. But it's a good rumor and it's an exciting rumor if it were to happen. But guys, that's what I want to talk about Global Star. Not a whole lot. It's pretty much just a nuts and bolts company. They do what they do and they do it good. Their bread and butter is making satellite phones, making trackers to put on vehicles and reaching people deep in the earth wherever they are, any location, anytime, any weather. So if you're wondering, I do invest in this company. This is the only penny stock that I invest in. I have a large stake in the company because it's affordable. But with this whole year and everything that's happened, the company has stayed steadfast. They've kept business, they've come out with new products, they've made new brands, things are going good. But like I always say, do your own research, look into Global Star. I really like this company, I really like where they're going, I really like their products, and I'm really excited about them especially for such a cheap stock to get into right now. But guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you're wondering why I switched rooms, my kids took over the last location, so I had to come in here. But I'm a dad, that's what happens. But if you can, please hit that like button and subscribe button. That helps my channel out so much, it really does. I'm having such a blast to talk to all you guys, making new friends, and learning about all these new companies. And continue to do so. I'm not going anywhere, I'm gonna keep doing this. And thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. But until next time, be positive and be you. Bye bye guys, thanks.